and it goes a little something like this. Everything sports culture. Sports, sounds, and And now, Sports Rap Live. Had a rap. Had a rap. Andrew Martinez. Martinez. Welcome to Sports Rap Live, everybody. We are here at Junction Bar and Grill for another exciting episode of the world's trillest sports talk program right here on Sports Talk 790 and iHeart Radio. And this is the official broadcast home for SRL Sunday Football Spectacular starting on September the 2nd from 7 to 10 p.m. Andrew, I cannot be more excited. I'm going to wait. Next Thursday, you know, we're going to have the first college football action live here. I can't wait. I mean, we're, we're literally seven days away from having to start the college football season. A lot of good games going on. I know Rice has a game that first day on Thursday. Uh, I'm really excited. I don't know why we have to wait. But right now, we got to get into some college football, and I think we have a very special caller joining the show right now. He is no stranger to Sports Talk 790 or Sports Rap Live, and he's probably one of the coolest guys I know, and I know one of the coolest guys Andrew know, and that is SEC Guy. SEC Guy, are you there? Yeah, that's right. SEC Guy, what do you know about Derek Rogers, and what do you know about him getting suspended today from Tennessee? Yeah, I, I know this much. Uh, I, there's some research Isaiah Corral, he got kicked out. You know, the Honey Badger got kicked out. And Ohio, you know, Michigan State, not Michigan State, Mississippi State, they're being investigated now. What does it say? What does it say about the SEC with all these investigations and all these players being kicked out? It says the liberal media is trying to get us, as always. <laughs> but, you know, good luck. They've been trying to do that for years and years. Now we have, like, 12 straight national championships. Uh, and they're trying to get us much to me. You can make whatever humble fuss that you want to, but in the end, we'll be raising that cocktail and throwing cool feet on the coach or whatever it is that's in those buckets. So how do you see the SEC shaking out this year? In the East, is it going to be Georgia's year? Who do you think is coming out of the East? Yeah, I kind of like Rick a little bit this year. He's got, uh, he's got a pretty handy quarterback over there, so I, I'll go with them. Let's check, better be real careful. We can end up get him out. Uh, let's see, that's Bama, obviously. And, yeah, I think he'll be back to Georgia in the uh, SEC championship game. Bama will win 20 to nothing. And then in the case closed, Bama wins national championship. What do you think about the new teams to the SEC, Texas A&M and Missouri? Do they even have a chance this year to compete? Yeah, I've said this before. Uh, you ever heard this? You know, you ever heard the phrase, uh, camp body? They are camp bodies. You bring them in, they are, in the movies they call them extras. In, in football they call them camp bodies. In high school they call them blocking dummies and blocking sleds. That's what A&M and that's what Missouri are. They, we got time, look. Not in the field, Vanderbilt and Kentucky can hardly even feel the team anymore. Mississippi State is just beat to hell. They need a break. They need someone else in there as a sparring partner. 
Well, he just added a couple small partners to the rotation. That's it. Now, there's talk this year that, you know, USC is going to be the team. They're going to be the team that's going to be throwing the SEC. That's funny. Oh, we got jokes today. So you don't think they have a chance? No. Not at all. The only, the only chance they have, the quarterback is pretty handy with a good book. So, you know, he's going to be fighting fire with fire on that point. But at the same time, you got a whole nation that uh, running up against him. Look, if Matt Barkley wants to get out of there and transfer to one of our schools, we'll take him. We didn't want Missouri, but we wanted to embarrass the Pac-10 by taking their very best quarterback and showing what a bunch of rubbish he was. And that's exactly what happened. So if Barkley wants to come on over, bring it on, we'll be happy to have you. If not, you will be smiling down. And what about Oklahoma? There may be the other team that could maybe challenge the SEC this year. Oklahoma what? Oklahoma. Oklahoma? <laughs> I, I guess that answers that. Yeah, that's that. Any other things as far as the SEC you think this year is going to stand out? What about Zach Mettenberger? LSU, is, is, you know that game is going to be played in Baton Rouge this year. Yeah, that's a suspicious last name. i got to do some research on him. He doesn't sound like he's from our part of the country, so I'm going to have to do some double-secret research on him. But the last two words about a, a brand-new quarterback who ain't never took a snap in his life, no, I am not. All right, SEC guy. Hey, I know you got a, a, a big concert you're going to tonight, so we're going to let you go. But we appreciate you checking here on Sports Rap Live. Anytime you want to swing down to Houston, you know, home of the Big East Cougars, you're always welcome to come by Junction Bar and Grill. Your brothers are playing over at the county fair, so I've got to get moving. <laughs> All right. Hey, SEC guy. We'll check in with you real soon, man. Appreciate it. Well, that's SEC guy for you. Always a pleasure having him around. Absolutely, absolutely. He touched on some good points there, Adam. You know, kind of touched on what he thought about LSU this season. And, you know, Zach Mettenberger, apparently he's, he doesn't have a name that's come from the good book. He's not a Matthew Mark, Luke, or John. It's not a Southern name. Matt it's not, it's a, not southern a Southern name. It's not. not. It wasn't really is happy. Jamarcus Russell a Southern name? Yeah, it no, is. No, but maybe Marcus is. I'm not sure. Maybe <laughs> that came from the good book.